There are a lot of different AI art generators out there, and today we're going to look at one that specifically is designed to turn your selfies into magical works of art. Lenza AI is a powerful photo editing app that gives you tools to create stunning works of art and content to share with friends and family on social media and on the web. Now, I'm just going to go over some of the basics of the app and show you how it works. If you want an in-depth overview of the app itself, there's an excellent blog post that's linked in the video description down below. Check that out. It goes more into depth about some of the features, some tips and tricks, and some history of the app. So if you're interested in that, check out the blog post. But let's go ahead and jump right in. I mentioned before that Linza is a mobile app. And so in order to use it, you're going to need to visit the App Store on whatever platform you're using, whether it be Android, Apple, or whatever, and just search for Linza. Once you're there, you can check out the app, download it, and install it. Now, once you do open the app for the first time, you'll be presented with a series of different screens. It's gonna do a quick overview of some of the features of the app, which will just briefly show you a whole bunch of different things that it can do, which is pretty nice. I enjoy that. Now, once you continue, you'll get to a screen that shows you some of its photo editing abilities. And though the app is famous for its magic avatar feature, it also functions as a pretty solid photo editing app. Then on the next screen, it's gonna talk about magic avatars. This is one of the main features of the app, and I'll go over it here in a bit. So now once you continue, it's gonna show you the different subscription levels you can have if you wanna pay for it. There is a seven day free trial available, but just know if you don't cancel it at the end of your trial, it will bill you. So I'm gonna use the seven day free trial myself and we'll carry on. Since the majority of people using this app are interested in the magic avatar feature, let's go over that really quick. So first of all, you need to choose if you're making this for a human or an animal. You can use this for your pets as well, but today I'm just gonna use myself. And then next you need to select a gender. This will help the app kind of determine how to create art for your face. And then you can select whatever style you want. There are a whole lot of different styles to choose from. Everything from basic things like fantasy and sci-fi up into some crazy stuff like you can make yourself look like a fairy or a mage mermaid. There's a whole bunch of different things to choose from. But just select a few that you like or that seem interesting to you and then go ahead and continue. Then from here you just need to upload some photos. It'll give you some guidelines on different good photos to use and some bad examples as well to kind of help you guide this process. So select between 10 and 20 selfies from your photo gallery and then go ahead and continue. Now, once you've selected your photos, you'll be given a screen to purchase your avatars. The price and number of unique avatars will vary depending on the number of styles and photos you uploaded. Magic avatars are not a free service, so you do have to pay for them if you want them. So just select however many credits you want to purchase and then go ahead and click the purchase button. Now, if you do have a paid subscription, you might not come across the screen, but since we're on the seven day free trial, we'll have to pay for some. Now it takes a little bit for your avatars to generate. In my case, it took about 18 minutes or so. So just go ahead and let it generate in the background. You can have it notify you when it's done and then it'll pop up and let you know. And then from here, just go ahead and preview some of the magic avatars that it's made. Now mine, I did them very quickly and they were all in the same spot because I was just doing this as a demonstration. So you can see they all kind of look same-ish, but that's why it's important to do different backgrounds, different head poses, all of that, to get the best use out of this. And now once you have some that you like, you can go ahead and download them directly from the app. When you go to download it, you have options. You can either save it in a 4K resolution or in a standard resolution. There's also the option to purchase a physical print of a picture if you want, but that's a whole separate service. Now you can also use Linza as a photo editor as well. And it has a whole bunch of different options from skin smoothing to changing your hair color uh, to a whole bunch of stuff. It's a pretty quick and crude photo editor in my opinion, but if you're just having fun and want to mess with some backgrounds and different choices like that, it's pretty decent, but I wouldn't say it's the best photo editor out there. Its main draw is that magic avatar feature. So there you have it, a quick overview of Linza. Whether or not you should check it out yourself is kind of entirely up to you. Again, I would recommend checking out the blog post down below. It has a lot more information about it, especially when it comes to paid services and everything like that. There's just a lot to do with the app. So make sure you read that blog post to get all the information you need, but now you know how to use the app. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Before you go though, make sure you like this video if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot more content coming out, especially some really awesome content when it comes to AI. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and we'll see you in the next video.